Iran says it has hanged a British Iranian national, uh, Ali Reza Akbari, a former top Iranian defense official convicted of spying for the United Kingdom. Akbari was also accused of involvement in the killing of Iran's top nuclear scientist in 2020. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak condemned Akbari's execution, calling it callous and cowardly. Iran has one of the world's highest execution rates. And I'm joined now in the studio by Cameron Mateen. He's a senior lecturer on international politics at the University of Sussex in England and an expert on Iran. Thank you for being Thank here, you. Mr. Mateen. Can you tell me, uh, tell our viewers about the charges uh, that Akbari faced and uh, why he faced the death penalty? Well, the uh, media outlets close to the IRGC and the um, judiciary of Iran have uh, claimed that he was the top uh, spy for the British intelligence, that he has passed on um, extremely sensitive military and security um, intelligence to British uh, uh, intelligence services, which has compromised Iran's external internal security. He was tried in a revolutionary court by a particular judge, Judge Salavati, who is notorious for having very close relations with the IRGC and, and the government itself. So many people in Iran believe that these courts are illegal because this was a temporary measure at the start of the uh, revolution and they should not be even in operation. And the IRGC is the Revolutionary Guards? Yes. Okay. And Mr. Akbari, before his execution, uh, suggested that it would be, should it take place, which it did, sadly, um, a sort of diplomatic uh, revenge be uh, because of Britain's stance on the recent protests, new sanctions and so on. D yeah. Does that make sense to you? There is definitely a, a, a foreign dimension to the execution, especially that the uh, prescribing the uh, proscribing the IRGC is, is under active consideration in, 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 Br in Britain. But I think there is a much more uh, important internal dimension to this execution. Um, the, um, Mr. Akbari was deputy of former defense minister, who is a close ally of uh, reformist President Khatami, who um, was president during the late 90s. Mm -hmm. Um, and also uh, he was an advisor uh, to the uh, Secretary of uh, Supreme National Council, uh, Council Secur National Security Council. So it seems that factions within IRGC trying to eliminate people they, they deem close to the reformist uh, faction, these are the ones who uh, advocate some sort of uh, flexibility in nuclear uh, negotiations in order to kind of lift the sanctions. But this is in, not in the interest of IRGC because they are actually benefiting from the sanctions. So this is a uh, internal kind of purge, so to speak. And just a last quick question, if I may. Does this relate in any way to the protest movement? Is it an attempt to intimidate people? Does it have any effect? Definitely, it is in the continue is, is a con continues this campaign of intimidation, which has started recently by the executing um, the protesters. The government wants to intimidate not just the protesters but the uh, civil society at large. But also, it, this is a kind of message to the social base of the government that, following multiple sabotage actions by the Israeli, um, um, Israel never claimed it, but everybody attributes it to Israel. So the government, IRGC, tries to claim that they have been able to deal with this internal kind of leak if you like, within the intelligence establishment of Iran. Okay, uh, Cameron Martin, thanks so much for those insights. Thank you.